The tune is Donald McLean's Farewell to Oban, um, one of the great 20th century 2-4 marches composed by um, Archie McNeil, blind Archie McNeil, um, originally from Rue near Helensburgh, but uh, spent much of his adult life in Glasgow uh, and was the uncle of Seamus McNeil and had a huge influence in Glasgow piping circles and the the interwar years, certainly between the, the First World War and Second World War, composed some, some fantastic tunes. Um, and this particular one uh, was named for, for after one of his students, um, Donald McLean, who, after having played exceptionally well at the Argyle Show Gathering in, in Oban one year, received no prizes. Um, and Archie had just recently composed, composed this tune. Uh, and named it in his honour. Despite all the myths out there that Donald McLean never went back to play at Oban thereafter, um, it's not quite true. He did go back on many occasions afterwards and was very successful. But um, This tune is a, is a, a wonderful, wonderful um, kind of legacy to that particular event. Um, so I'll play it through and there's a couple of little bits that I'll just point out that, uh, that I especially like. Um, <laughs> So there's a few particular bits in there that I especially like, the second part. That little phrase is just a, a little balance that happens in there that, that kind of helps me really get into and feel the tune, but I think the fourth part especially um, uh, is it's a, it's a lesson in the, the importance of the upbeat in 2-4 marches, I think. All these highs. It's really kind of clever, keeps it swinging along really, really well. And I remember, I remember getting lessons on that tune myself when I was just a, a little boy. This was the first ever four-parted 2-4 march that I ever learned uh, by Angus McClellan. Actually at the College of Piping on Otago Street. Uh, I was probably not much more than 10 years old and learning that tune from Angus and, and pointing out these upbeats in that fourth part 
And I remember, <laughs> I remember that, that dilapidated old building as it was at the time on Otago Street in, in Angus's room where the floor felt as if it was on a slant with like lumps in it as the, the building was subsiding into the ground. And I remember trying to march backwards and forwards up and down this little hill in his upstairs room. Um, so this great thing about that tune for me as well, it's kind of loaded with all of these old memories too.